let's get into the Biden con press conference and the special counsel. And the way the corporate media has been lying about this story is ve very, very telling. They keep pretending that Biden's been exonerated. That is absolutely not what happened. In that report, they said Biden willfully held secret classified documents. And they explain why they did. I'm gonna get to this later because Biden has this view of himself as a historical figure, which he is, he's a president. So because of that, he wanna take all these documents for personal reasons. So when he filed these reports, you gotta explain motive. His motive that they got was he wanted to maintain records of himself. He had all these pictures of himself. It's something that, he's, that he always done. He took classified documents willfully, which is illegal. Which if you were the average government worker, your ass would be in prison for. The same thing that they got Donald Trump for. So they didn't charge Joe Biden because he was mentally unfit. Because when you have a dementia-ridden senior citizen who can't recall the crime that he did, you can't, it won't be effective to prosecute him because he, he, could, he will show himself to be a feeble old man to the, to the jury who is not liable to the crime that he committed. So what the, the special counsel, what he was saying is, because he had to make this report explain to Republicans why he's not charging him. Because if he don't explain why, the Republicans will be upset and they're going to have his head. So he explained the report like, God, you guys are going to be upset that I'm not charging Biden, because, even though we charged Trump with this crime. But the reason why we're not charging Biden with this crime, but we're charging Trump with this crime, because Biden is not liable because he's so fucking demented and senile. He don't even remember when he was vice president. He don't remember anything about what happened with these documents. And he's so old and seen now that he believes it. That's the point of this report. So Biden and his allies, in result of that, has been in shambles and purposely lying about this. And I could have picked a thousand stories to show you guys, but I'm going to pick someone who I believe is an effective Democratic propagandist, Joanne Reed. But before I look at this headline, how Biden and his allies are pushing back against a special counsel's claim about his, about his memory. Now, this is a scathing, scathing report because one of the leading things that people are uh, criticizing Biden over is his mental acuity, not his age, because Trump is only three years younger than him. So it's about mental acuity because obviously we are we are looking at a dimension dementia riddled old man who doesn't even remember he was vice president. So this is horrible for Democrats politically. I see one per person who was talking about this who said it, it'll be better off if Biden got prosecuted than this. Then they can just focus on the differences between Biden and Trump. And they do this very ineffective talking point where they said, well, unlike Trump, at least we complied. Trump didn't comply with the law. That doesn't mean shit. I murdered someone. Zoya murdered someone. And then I I'm like, I complied though. Zoya didn't comply. You can't charge me with murder because I complied. The fact that Zoya didn't comply had nothing to do with the fact that I committed murder. But that's the argument that they, they use. They said, well, technically the difference is that we, we, we complied. Trump did it. It's absurd. They are grasping at straws. And I want to show you guys this video. So you guys can see how the corporate media is just outright lying about this. Because you guys see my hotspot video while I cover the press conference. And I'm going to show you guys a little bit more of this. Because that press conference couldn't have went worse for Joe Biden. It couldn't have went worse. Because his job was to go out there and forcibly rebuke the, the, the claims of the special consul. And then he immediately got the Egyptian president and the Mexican president mixed up. And then he came across about as an angry old man lashing out against reporters, calling them essentially fake news for reporting on this. And I'm going to show you guys clips of that. You guys seen it in the hotspot video in the intro. Essentially doing the same thing as Donald Trump. So the point we make all the time in RBN, this is why I choose to cover this. Because I like we have fun sometimes, but you, you guys know I cover everything for a reason. One of the reasons why I'm covering this, because the point that we make that Jane Kuger and, and the NATO left don't understand, the Bernie Sanders left don't understand, is that you can have Trump and Raymond syndrome all you like. To me, I think it's rational to hate the ruling class, no matter what side it's on. But to have Trump and Raymond syndrome without having Biden and Raymond syndrome, Democrat and Raymond syndrome, makes no sense. Red MAGA is exactly the same as Blue MAGA. Remember how Trump got caught with classified documents and then Trump immediately attacked the prosecutor? 
and he attacked the process. And then they said Trump is a danger to our democracy because Trump is attacking the special counsel. Trump is attacking the legal process. And then the legal process go after Biden for the same thing. And you're going to watch the media, and they're just one of many. They do the same thing they accused MAGA of doing that made him so dangerous to democracy. So we don't pick one side. We are the post-democracy, uh, post-duopoly left. We are here to show you guys why both both of them are two sides of the same coin. Let's see how much we can stomach of this. Tonight with special counsel Robert Hur's report about President Biden's mishandling of classified documents. Having had a day to digest the nearly 400-page report, I can comfortably say that this is one of the most nonsensical, absurd, and outrageous documents I have seen since then FBI Director James Comey's hit job on Hillary Clinton. Once again, I picked this one for a reason. I watched so many of these segments, fam, preparing this for you guys. That's the line. And that anger you hear from Joy and Randy, she's in complete shambles. Biden, propagandists are in complete shambles because this report exposes what everyone been saying, what they've been trying to now deny that Biden committed the same crimes that they wanted Trump lent for. Not only that, it comes out that all the aid concerns, the concern about his mental acuity is well-founded. This is the doomsday scenario for Democrat fam. That's why they are in fucking shambles. And wait till you see how Joy and Reed continue this. Feel free to interrupt anytime, Zoya, if you have anything you want to add. I'll just try to get through this as fast as I can. But feel free to interrupt anytime you, you want to. Enter email server 11 days before election day in 2016. In both cases, the conclusion of the prosecutors was the same. No charges were deemed warranted and no crimes committed. But that didn't stop. I oh, I can't make it. Ten seconds in this motherfucker. <laughs> I'll let it go a little bit longer after this. But I just want to let you guys know that's a blatant lie. In the report, they said that Biden willfully retain classified documents and information, which is a crime that will give any person in federal government locked up. The reason why they didn't charge him for a crime is because they said he is so old, he's so senile, he does not have memory of committing the crime. They did not say he did not commit a crime. You cannot classify what you said as anything else other than a rank lie. But I'll, let, I'll let it play a little more. It's hard. But I'll let it play. We're not going to be too long on this. For election day in 2016. In both cases, the conclusion of the prosecutors was the same. No charges were deemed warranted and no crimes committed. But that didn't stop either Comey or her from ladling on superfluous political and personal attacks on what was supposed to be a simple, fact-based report answering just one question. Is the Justice Department going to indict? That's it. That's all the public wanted or needed to know. So Joanne Reed is smart. She knows better than this. She knows she's lying. So she just said the point of this special counsel is to explain whether they're going to indict or not. So if they do not indict, which they are not, the special counsel has to explain why they're not indicting. So that's why they get into his mental acuity. They get to the point in explaining how Biden views himself as a historical figure and he likes to keep record. They explained it not as a as a personal attack, but they explain that to uh, to lay out a motive. This is why Biden did it, but and this is why we're not uh, charging him. But Joanne Reed is purposely misleading her audience about this and and joe biden in the press conference we'll get to this very, very soon does the same thing you know what they accuse trump of doing lying about his criminal prosecutions that is what biden and his entire media apparatus is doing as well but they they view tucker carlson as dishonest they just pretended that tucker carlson is not a journalist he's uniquely evil because he's dishonest but joy and reed is cutting a segment where i can't get even a minute into it because i gotta explain every single fucking lie she's thrown to the audience I'm gonna play this a little bit more of this. Is there anything you want to add? I'm sorry, not getting you in here, but anything you want to, you want to add to the story? Well, um, just observing the liberal reaction online, I don't know if it's a psyop or organic because it's just too wild to be real, but they're actually yeah. celebrating this as a victory. And I just want to say if your president is too senile to stand trial, that is not a win. You're an embarrassment on the world stage. The guy with the nuclear codes wanders off stage looking for corn pop. Let's be real. 
<laughs> you, your president is incompetent and America has become a joke. But this exposes a very important thing that our presidents are not running the country and it should make every American question who is. I'll play a little bit more of the Joanne Reed clip to show you guys how, how much she lies. In the Biden press conference, I cannot stress enough how much of a disaster it is. Once again, check out my hotspot video about it uh, while, while I explain it with humor as well. But, but it was so bad. You guys realize that liberal media is turning against them? That's why Biden faced tough uh, questions at the press conference because they like, hey, man, what the fuck? You're making us look bad. Joy and Reed don't have that kind of shame. I'm going to show you guys a CNN segment where they are brutally fact-checking Joe Biden, something we have not seen him do in the entire administration because his lie during the press conference is so bad, it was very, very Trumpian. The same thing they accused Trump of doing, of just lying about his, his, his charges. But let me continue this because I want to show you guys the lie that comes from Biden media. Let's get into it. Fact-based report answering just one question. Is the Justice Department going to indict? That's it. That's all the public wanted or needed to know. Instead, her begins what can only be described as a political diatribe designed for Fox News like a script for the five on the very first page. Appearing- You guys realize that the same thing that Republicans say about the Trump prosecutions, that they are just here for MSNBC, CNN, New York Times headlines. Blue MAGA is the same as Red MAGA. Every argument that she's using is MAGA arguments. But let's continue. To call out Biden as an egotist by writing, quote, Mr. Biden has long seen himself as a historic figure. Well, yeah, man, he probably does see himself as an historic figure. Joe Biden is a president of the United States. Bro, look how mad she is. I explained before the reason why he said that, by the way, he never used the word egotist. She did that. She's explaining the, the special counsel has to explain the motive. They are explaining the motive on why Biden took classified documents. You know what a special counsel fucking does? But you guys see how Joy and Reed twist that and say he went on a political diatribe personally attacking Joe Biden as an egotist. That is not what happened. He's explaining why Biden took documents because he viewed himself as a historical figure, which once again, we pray he is. He is one. But because of that, that's why he did this illegal criminal behavior. But you guys see how she's trying to paint that as political? I'll let it continue. We're not going to be too much longer on this video. 46 people in all of America's 248 year history who served in that role. And not for nothing, he was the vice president to the first black president in U.S. history. So that kind of makes him an historic figure, don't you think, Mr. Herr? And then on page six, on page six, her claims that a reason that he wouldn't bring charges against the president for whom he found no crime was that Biden was an elderly man with a poor memory, going as far as to say his memory was so poor that Biden couldn't even remember when his son Bo died. Despite the untimely death of Bo Biden from cancer being a thing Joe Biden talks about literally all the time. Last night. So don't you think point out the fact that they're not charging him for his memory is not relevant? I just explained this. Since they're not charging Biden with this crime that they say they're guilty of, they have to explain why. They're not bringing up Biden's mental acuity to attack him. It's his job to explain to the Republicans why he is not being prosecuted. And he is saying they're not being prosecuted because he's too old in dementia to remember the crime that he committed. When they had these interviews, Biden was pretending, oh, I don't remember this. I don't remember that. So he's like, I, this is the only conclusion we can come to. When asked questions, he don't remember where he's vice president. And yes, Biden's talked about his death son before. But just because someone remembers something in the past, don't remember, don't mean they forget it when they get dementia. I know people in my family that had dementia. Before they had dementia, they remember shit. When they don't have, when after they had dementia, they forget shit. Joy, that's how dementia works, ma'am. But she knows. Yeah. We know she knows. She got caught on a, high, a hot mic saying another fucking war. Yeah. So in reality, real joy knows what's up. Real joy knows Biden's a warmonger. But this is her job. She gets paid to lie to the American uh, public and manufacture this narrative that, you know, like, Biden's running for grandpa of the year. Sympathetic, kind, old man. This man has the nuclear codes. The fact that he's still in the White House it, it is just a, a detriment to the country. And the fact that they prop him up makes him accomplices.
Uh, should, I, should I play more for y'all? Play more for Meltdown and fam. Chris Hayes has a segment that was exactly like this. So I know we're making fun of Joy and Reed because I do think she's a more effective Democrat propaganda. And when I say that, that's not me giving her credit because the like among the propaganda class, she's there for a reason, you know what I mean? She's here to do this propaganda, and because she has no soul, that's why she's able to. Uh, say Biden bombing another, start another fucking war. She able to do this stuff by completely separating her feelings from politics. Like Van Jones, I seen a clip from Van Jones in the '90s that blew my fucking mind, bro. Like he's like he was like a radical, like an RBN style radical. But then these people sell out to the point where they don't care about their personal opinions. They they completely sacrifice their soul, the way that most ordinary people. I don't think they can, man. And there's a reason why they're there. And this meltdown shows exactly how Joy and Reed don't care about facts. She don't care about if she looks like an asshole. She's just going to take that check and she's going to do the bidding of the establishment without question. Because I'm not even two minutes into this, but I have completely and utterly dismantled every single point she has made. And I am without a doubt not as smart as Joy and Reed. She is way more educated than I am. I don't know her education. I am a college dropout. You guys think that she don't have the critical thinking that I have? She is doing this on purpose. I'll play this be my last clip and I'll move on. I just want I, I just want to show you guys how much she lies. I picked this one for a reason, but this is this was standard across MSNBC the entirety of yesterday. So let's continue. Bo died. Despite the untimely death of Bo Biden from cancer being a thing Joe Biden talks about literally all the time. Last night, Biden did not hold back in his response. I was very honored as a man, Viktor Orban. Did ever, anyone ever hear of him? He's the leader of, right? He's the leader of Turkey. By the way, they never reached the crowd. He's talking here because 6, you know? essentially what she does here is butt Trump. <laughs> and they, and every single MSNBC segment had the same script, bro. And people didn't not state me. They will do the same intro. So about how dare you attack the president how dare you do your job then they go to trump like why aren't you guys calling out trump for his mental acuity you guys wouldn't want that fam because if they did they wouldn't charge trump with a crime because they would say he's too old in dementia which undermine the fact that you're trying to throw this man in jail why would you even want that but even even way let's move on i explained how she lied and misrepresented the case in the most malicious way possible well, the only way, the only conclusion you come to is the fact that she's a blatant liar. And, and and maybe I should rephrase that because, as I mentioned earlier before, there's a segment with with Chris Hayes that said the same thing. Lawrence O'Donnell. Oh God, you guys should see the Morning Joe segment on this. I I didn't do that one because I wouldn't give you guys a break from Morning Joe. I I wanted to change the 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 variety of Morning Joe had the same segment. So actually, I don't want to personalize. It. I don't want to make it about Joy and Reed. That actually kind of a, a mistake. It's the message of the establishment. They are all given the same script and not a Joy and Reed thing. It's an MSNBC thing. They are so, they have, they have relegated themselves as just rank dishonest propagandists from one party. And these are the same people that were just attacking Tucker Carlson and saying he's not a journalist. But anyway, uh, Joy, anything you want to add before I move on? Any last thoughts? Or oh, you can pass it to me. I want to get to the fact check. Anything else you want to add, though? Uh, yeah, first of all, the chat is really upset with you uh, saying that Joy is smarter than you. And everyone is saying that you're definitely smarter and I would have to agree. Repeating things off a teleprompter is not a high level skill and your intelligence and in breaking things down and seeing through things will always outshine some Joy. Uh, you guys about made me blush, man. <laughs> but what I mean is there's no doubt that they're intelligent. It's an active choice that they're making to sell out. But I appreciate you guys. You make me blush. You guys know that when men are complimented, we remember that shit forever. 